so it's a it's an interesting name. The company we're working with that's creating the system we're testing is called StarNav. We changed the S to a 5 because we're uh, testing L5 GPS signal. If you look at it to begin with, they can either all be off or that one can be on. So the project is testing a L5 and GPS and Galileo E5A uh, receiver using exist some existing hardware on, in this case, a T38. Um, so we're, we're seeing, can, we, can this implementation of the receiver work? And then how can L5 and Galileo E5A be used to improve the navigation for uh, systems that already have some of this hardware already on the aircraft? already have tested your lights. Well, that's important because we'll come back to it later. Okay. Yeah, so GPS L5 is the, the newest signal that's being deployed on the GPS satellites. And what StarNav has been working on is a piece of equipment that allows jets to be able to use those signals. And it allows them to do it without equipping the jets with, with new hardware. We're basically just doing a little bit of regression testing and making sure that the capabilities of the aircraft are still uh, unaffected by our system. The uh, TPS students uh, bought and painted a bus to look like uh, the X-62 Vista. Um, we're using it for our test as a GPS base station. So we're recording GPS on uh, the T-38 and also in the base station, and then we use what's called differential GPS processing to get a more accurate position solution for the system under test. It's another uh, band of frequency, so GPS has L1 and L2, which are different frequency bands. L5 is a different is a different frequency band, so it gives it more flexibility and more accuracy as well. The, the more frequencies you have, you can correct for the ap atmospheric errors. Um, it also gives you more redundancy in the electromagnetic spectrum, just having more ways of getting the information to be true source for the test community, and then also potentially a better position solution for airplanes in the future if they go with this sort of hardware L5, B5A implementation. So if we don't do this test, then we don't have the answers of if this implementation is realistic and uh, don't have this asset available to the test community. I think it's really cool to fly and get, and get data, and in this case, uh, see what happens. Like, we have some predictions, we have some uh, general things, but we'll have to see what, what, it's, what, what data we get in the air. And I've worked with GPS before, and I really, so it's kind of cool to be a testing GPS in this case.